This is the biggest native animal in the rainforest, and one dangerous bird. She's got a helmet on top of her head, and her inner claw is like a dagger. She can use this to eviscerate or disembowel just about anything. Looks like a young one. Fully grown, a cassowary is over six feet tall, and they don't appreciate human company. If she spots us, she'll run, and if we're lucky, it'll be away from us. She's got that armored head that she'll put down and use like a battering ram to slice through the rainforest. Terry spots a jewel, the jewel of the kite. Wow! Woohoo! This bamboo is the perfect habitat for these beautiful little green pythons. Now, he's called a green python even though he's yellow because when the babies hatch out, they can be this brilliant yellow, orange, brick red, some of them are even blue. Now, the mother would have laid her eggs here. She'd lay about oh, one or two dozen eggs. She sits on her eggs, she coils around them, and she vibrates a little bit just to help incubate them. After about 50 days, they hatch out. There's a good chance there's gonna be some others around here because they all hatch out in the same area. Have a look at his tail. Right there on the end of his tail, it's that blue color. Now, he uses the end of his tail to twitch or wriggle in order to lure little prey items within grasp. You can see those heat sensing pits right on the front of his face. He's got the amazing ability to detect heat. You see the lovely pattern down his back? When he grows up, he'll have kind of a blue tinge right along his flanks. And those colors really help him camouflage in this nice, nice bamboo forest. Hey, Terry, Terry. Yeah. I've got another one. Check this out. Now this is probably a brother or sister of that golden one. It's already started to change green. It's going into that brilliant emerald green coloration. Now have a look, the last part to change is down on the bottom end there, the back end right towards the tail. You can see that gold there. And actually, if you have a look there, just on the tip of his tail, come on, give us a look at your tail. Here he comes. It's still that purpley blue color, the caudal lure color. Have a look at his head. Got a real arrow-shaped head, typical py python structure, and he's got bands that come right back from his snout through his eyes along his head. And that creates a very good camouflage for him. Of course, being a little green python, everything out here in the bush that eats meat would eat one of these. They are in a lot of danger from predators, and that's why camouflage is so important. This kind of foliage, the bamboo, is brilliant. He's heading back up in amongst the thickest part of the bamboo where he is completely safe from predators. Ready for more Croc Hunter? Click on the links to see more videos just like this. And don't forget to subscribe.